Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser, Skilton. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to share a fantastic free AI platforms where you can use these AI platforms to write your research article very quickly. This is a very interesting video. The reason why, because nowadays, different AI YouTube channels are coming up and especially the YouTubers are also promoting paid AI. But those paid AI can give you sometimes higher AI detections. So I'm going to share how to reduce the AI detection, how to reduce the plagiarism. And at the same time, you can write your research article and submit to a good journal very easily. So without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, the first thing first is to start with a title. So in this case, I'm going to use the title institution building in bangladesh an exploratory study and i'm using strom to start with my research problem objective and introduction so strom ai is supported by stanford university and they designed this ai to help the students and researcher come up with some article ideas especially to break the writer blocks so this is not going to be a full pleasant article which is produced, which can be produced by chat GPT or any other AI. But this is a starting point of your research. And the interesting part of strong AI that it does not give you higher AI detection at the same time, higher plagiarism. So once we give the command, the institution building in Bangladesh, an exploratory study, find out the research problem research question and the objective of the study the strong ai you can see that table of content gives me summary historical context current state of institutions political economic ngo challenges and key challenges building as well however interesting topic the reason why because we are using a qualitative or exploratory study and we are in 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 use the data as well i'll show you the data as well so that you can use it as both qualitative and a quantitative study for this type of research so you can see that the summary institution building in bangladesh exploratory study it gives you a historical context current state of institutions and all that and also it gives you a lot a lot of authentic research references this is very interesting right because you can see if you click this one you will see the references are given with the url and also the reference list and it gives you a small brief highlights of what is the reference all about so you can start your research idea you're breaking the research or writer block using strong ai instead of going to chat gpt or DeepSeek or any other research llm platform okay and of course this is completely free the next thing that you have to do is once you build up your idea you need to collect the data so i already collected the data and this is survey data so you can use survey monkey or you can use google uh, form or you can use sogo survey analysis these are the very free uh, survey data analysis exploratory survey uh, platforms where you can collect the data so in this case, I already collected the data. For example, year 1975, 80, 95, 1991. So I give some uh, structural break time. And from 1 to 10 indexing, I collected the data from different organizations, especially the key personal information, informant, meaning that interview method. And I try to collect the data from them. And this is a data set like political stability, bureaucratic quality, rule of law. So it's, it's kind of an index. And out of this 1 to 10, what is the index of political stability in 1975 and then and in 2025 so basically the lower value is showing the uh, old situation the higher value is good situation so this is what we are having and the voter turnout this is a continuous numbers value so this is kind of a data that we use this particular study now once we collect the data which is very important then we need to use our research article collection based on this title the best place where you can go at the very beginning is the Symmetric Scholar. And in this Symmetric Scholar, you can see that there are a lot of research article is given in Symmetric Scholar. If I just copy the whole thing and search in the Symmetric Scholar, you will find that there are hundreds of thousands of articles. It is given for free 
in order to find out the proper research articles documents to reference your research article. So you can see that there are 14 results from this particular uh, uh, title and you can see that these are the titles given and the interesting part is that you can choose the filtering process for your systematic data analysis if you are going for systematic research review in that case the inclusion and exclusion criteria you can both do in a semantic scholar beside the semantic scholar you can use the oa.mg for your research article search so the only truly modern academic research engine so this is where you can easily find out your research article to download once you download it my third step is to go to the zotero and once you go to the zotero your main purpose is to upload your all the article why because you need to add the citation in your research okay and zotero can give you a fantastic work for citing your research creating or building your bibliography very easily so the third part is to use the zotero for your research article upload the zotero just drag and drop your all the articles research articles and zotero you can cite it in your research paper very easily okay now the next thing is to analyze your literature review the best place and free ai for your literature review by all means is notebook lm and i have several videos on notebook lm you can have a look but notebook lm is the best place where you can use the data especially the research article once you upload it in the notebook lm it will help you to design your literature review very fantastic way and it can also cite your literature review especially the citation of the references very easily because you are the one who is uploading all the research articles into notebook lm so that is one place where you can do your systematic or normal narrative literature review very easy and the another one that is in my recommendation is the research rabbit which is also a free platform and the purpose of the research rabbit is to connect the similar work because we need a thematic analysis research rabbit can highlight the interrelation between different articles give you a complete map or connection between different articles which will help any reviewer to understand why you collect those articles and what is the very purpose of those articles in this particular research so use the research rabbit to connect your research article and this is also completely free so once you finish your literature review now comes to the methodology and data analysis the best way you can use the data analysis is bricks ai you can upload your data especially the csv file for example if you upload the csv file the csv file will help you to understand the data set first you need to log in to the system once you log in to the system the bricks ai will help you to create the dashboard at the same time it will help you to uh, find out the different exploratory research information for example if i go to the um, start a blank research article so if you just go to the bricks ai you can see that there are a lot of things you can do and one of the important thing is to import data so if you want to import the data so upload pdf upload image excel csv so if i upload this data set so the bricks ai gives you this data you can just say find out the trend of the data for instance and i can give a command on that and once you give a command the bricks ai will create trend of the data set so this is very nice and fantastic platform for free the bricks ai for your data analysis and one of the other ai that i i would recommend you that quadratic ai the quadratic ai also help you to design your data analysis especially with the help of python and quadratic ai is also free platform there are a little bit of pricing but the most of the cases you can do by for free so quadratic ai also help the similar thing that bricks ai can do so you can see that the bricks ai already give us a result and if you just see the bricks ai information you will find out that these are the uh, different type of diagrams bricks ai give us 
and you can see this the Brix AI's data set and their diagram and everything is given here. So once you create the diagram, you just have to copy and paste into your research article. So Brix AI, Quadratic AI, you can use it for free. Now for qualitative analysis, there is another nice platform. If you can download this, it is very, very interesting platform, which is called the Chaguiti. And this is an exploratory research platform. Chaguiti is a free open source qualitative study platform. No need to use NVivo, no need to use any other paid qualitative software. You can use this particular platform to design your qualitative study, especially coding your qualitative study, especially code, node, and also highlight the text, mining, data, word frequencies, word cloud, everything you can do it for free using this particular uh, software platform. And this is completely free. So use this platform for your uh, qualitative study, especially for the uh, qualitative exploratory analysis. Okay. There is another one that I strongly recommend you to go for your Orange. This is Orange is a platform. Uh, this is also completely free data analytic platform. And Orange has a, a different type of data analysis uh, tools. At the same time, it gives you a qualitative study platform. So it can explore the text mining. It can give you the word cloud, word frequencies for your qualitative study, for your thematic analysis. So Orange also can be useful tool for your qualitative study. And it can use different type of add-on. For example, if you go to add-on, and in the add-on, you can see the text, okay? This text can give you the complete feature. You can see the text, text mining for qualitative study can give you complete features of any type of qualitative study. You don't need to go for paid software, okay? And once you have it, now you can go and design your data, design your research article, understand it, and write your literature review, write your data analysis, qualitative study, and give you the give your citation all the things in this but using this free ai that i have mentioned starting from semantic scholar brock uh, oa.mg notebook lm briggs quadratic ai zotero strom orange uh, research rabi and then finally you can submit your research article to a particular journal we have our journal international journal of sustainability and multidisciplinary research in this particular journal you can submit your any type of research article if it fits to social science business economics and if you had arts and humanities you can submit to this particular journal so a to z from writing a research article to submit to a journal i have shared the free ai tools that in, that you can use for free without having pay any single money for this type of ai now i do not again i am not against the paid ai but I'm saying for the student and researcher, especially from the developing countries, it is very costly for them to subscribe to a paid AI. And I'm not going to promote those paid AI. If you like it, you can take it. But for me, I am a teacher. I want to give my students and fellow researchers the free platforms where you can use these tools to build up your research article and different type of research related work and submit to a particular journal and get a good publication easily so i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video share with your friends and peers i will see you in the next tutorial until then bye bye